Hey y'all, this is Kami Cola with another video. And on this video, I will be showing y'all how to chop and screw your music and also save it to your phone. Okay, this is specifically for iPhone users, how to chop and screw your music on your iPhone. I don't know about Androids. I don't know how what the process is with it. This is strictly for my iPhone people. Now, before we get started, you're going to need two apps for this process. Um, go into your Apple Store and uh, type in Remix FX. Remix FX. If you don't have it downloaded, go ahead and download it. And then you are also going to need uh, the second shot. The second app will be called InShot. I N S H O T. So now we're in Remix FX. App. This is the main app we are going to be using to chop and screw your music. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> now we have the app up. You see the chop FX little, you know, slider and the chop FX button is to your right. Um, a lot of the reviews on the app is saying like they need more features. Um, you cannot save the song to your iPhone. Um, when you're recording during the chopping and, and, and screw process or whatever during the editing of your song, uh, the recording stops in the middle of the song so you can't hear the rest of your song. We're going to fix all of that, okay? Because I like to cut corners with these apps. A lot of these apps will not give you the whole thing. And it's just unfair because just because we're iPhone users, that's a whole rant. That's something else. But let's get, get into it. So we're going back into the Remix FX app. Um, at the bottom, it says tap the plus button to load a song. So, but before we do that, just look at the app. <laughs> we're going to get out of it and then we're going to go to InShot. This is the second app you are going to need. Just these two apps. These two. Okay. So you're going to go to music library. You're going to hit that plus button at the top. Hit music library. Okay, it says we only show songs, blah, blah, blah. You hit OK. Go to your songs. Now, um, the song that I got is uh, my homeboy song, Rosetta Stone Freestyle. I've already chopped and screwed it, but this is only for educational purposes to show y'all. Um, he sent me the song through text message. I saved it on my phone, and I made an album cover on it. And he said he wanted it chopped and screwed. So that's what we're going to do. Um, now, when he sent me the song, I, of course, I had to save the song, email myself the song, get on my laptop, go to iTunes, drag the song onto my iTunes because his song is not in the Apple Store or anything else. That's a different process. But you should have your song on your iTunes, okay? Y'all see that slider? That is the chop offset. It's very important for you to know where to place that slider because that will affect the chopping of your music. That's something that you play with on your own time. For right now, I'm just gonna show y'all, I play, press play. Um, obviously, the chop, set, the chop offset wasn't in the right place. So that's when you're sliding it, you're adjusting it to the song. Um, that button right there, that's the button you hit to chop it. You know, and it's just play with it before you actually start screen recording your song. So I'm playing it, playing it, playing it. I'm chopping it, chopping it. And I'm going to just let y'all hear it. So as you can see, it wasn't in the right spot. The chopper was off. And yeah, just fix that. So if you go in here, you can adjust the pitch and the speed. And I slowed it down just a little bit more. Let's chop it. I'm the type of nigga put up in your house. 
All right, so y'all get the idea. So basically, you're going to stop screen recording it. Hit that red button. All right, so it should have your video saved. So what you're going to do is go into InShots in the app. You click on video. Okay. And then you click on, um, see, I've already did this already. So I'm just going to click on the video that I, you know, that I previously had, the main video, before I did all the editing to the song. Any day now. Okay, so I'm going to click on the video and... We so we're gonna pause that for a minute okay. because what we're gonna do yeah. is extract that rolling. audio from that video because we will no longer use that audio we're going to use the new audio for the chopped and screwed version okay all right so you're gonna hit music and you're going to turn the volume all the way down. That part was unnecessary. You can just really extract the audio. And then you click the audio, then you delete it. And it will delete. Okay? So now you're just stuck with a video with no sound, no nothing, just the video. Now, you're going to go to music or tracks. And you're going to um, extract audio from video. And y'all remember that video that we screen recorded? That's the video that you place on your video in uh, in in shot the video that we screen recorded from remix fx run, run, that is the video you are going to be using to place on your video in the in shop app because once again remix fx will not let you save your songs to your phone it will not let you even screen record the whole song in the app it's, it's a shady app but you know you got to work around these apps once again so you place that song, that sound, on top of that video because you're extracting it from the the um, screen recorder video. And there you have it. Sometimes the song will be a little bit longer than the video, but that's an easy fix. So y'all see it stops where the video stops? It's cool. Just hit that, click the video at the bottom or at the top, and then you duplicate the video. I tried to drag it, but I couldn't. So at this point, just click it and duplicate it. It makes a second video. And then you trim the video to where the song stops. So you, you split it. There you go. And then you remove the excess video. And delete it. So, there you have it, y'all. There's your song, Chopped and Screwed, and the video is saved to your iPhone. All you have to do now is save the video. So, you hit the button at the top, you save it. You can save the resolution to 1080p or 4K. doesn't really matter. I, I advise for people to save it under uh, 30 frame rate. Just leave it how it is, okay? And you save it, and it's going to save to your phone as a video. Um, it will not save to your iTunes or anything like that. It's just saving to your iPhone because that was the main uh, purpose of the video. You do not switch screens or anything. Just let it save. And there y'all have it. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed my video. I hope y'all learned from the video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, you know, Leave something in the comments, B. Yeah, but I'm done. You just hit the X's on these apps, y'all. We don't pay attention to them. I mean, on these advertisements. And there you go. Your video is saved under your videos. Point blank, period. It's ways around these iPhones. It's ways around these iPhone apps. Please do not let iPhones limit you from your possibilities. <laughs> All right, y'all. That's it.